hi guys today's video i am going to show you how to catch database query result and we can boost our page loading so let me go and show you the live demo and how we can catch and how we can catch clear okay so let me go here and uh, go to the example so i already have implemented like role and permissions example over here and you can see that i have a list of all the users i have displayed okay and let me go and show you the vs code editor so let me go and you can see that i have used the laravel 12 starter kit so you can see i have used uh, live wire and simple user get and display all the users over here okay and i also installed the a laravel debug bar so i can see what queries are running in the background so let me refresh it and you can see that i have select star from users that what is the query that i have run over here okay so you can see right now how many data i have so let me go to my table plus and just refresh it i have just around like 8 to 10 records of the users but what if i have a 30,000 or 50,000 records then it will take like much time right now just it take like two milliseconds but maybe it take one second two second or maybe uh, more than that so what we can do in this case so we are going to use laravel already defined catch so we can catch the query result and display to the user so let me go here and yeah before start to the catch i can show you the where is the configuration of catch so let me go to the env and if i go here and yeah you can see that get store in database by default okay i can also make it in file there is a different type of database you can use the redis or maybe you can use the sqlite as well so i will use file so save it okay and now let me go here and go to the config and go to the catch.php you can see that over here how many options are available array database file mem catch redis DynoDB, Octal and Null also you can use SQLite as well okay so but right now I am using this file okay so now how can we use it so let me go to the user index and just use catch facade okay and then I need to use remember function first argument it will take the key name so I will just say users and the second argument how many times you you want to keep that store in cats so in seconds you need to give i will give for 60 seconds for a one hours that means and the third argument will be a function okay and then let me close this okay save it and inside that what i need to do return and user colon colon get so that means we return the results of users and it's stored to the users variable okay so just simple you need to use the catch facade and then remember function of that okay if right now i have a just simple example to get the users but maybe you have a counter query or with count and how more much more queries you have written and then you can do with the catch so save it okay now let me go and just refresh it okay and you can see that now that query is gone so let me refresh it you can see that you don't have any queries because that already catched okay so you can see over here okay so now let me go and add it okay if i go to the edit and just let me remove this what is the disadvantage so just i will say three dot and submit it you can see that it just displayed the name because this result is stored into the catch so that means that updated record is not affected let me go and show you into the database if i select and refresh it refresh and select you can see that that means database affected but it's not going to change the result because we already defined the key for example if i define key like two okay and save it and if i go and refresh you can see that now it's coming because we changed the key but if we key back the key users and do it that means that our result our entire result are stored into that that okay so save it but how can we resolve this issue as well okay so save it this users query okay and go to your laravel documentation and they already provide when our user is created or updated then we can remove that particular key okay so how can we do just go here into the documentation they already provided over here copy this code and go to the user model and at the end i am going to paste inside the booted method for this created when user will create it at that time i will just use catch and forget 
users key okay save it okay and let me double check yeah users key okay and same thing i will do for update when user will update i will remove that query updated okay save it okay and now let me go here and let me change the user details okay i will keep hardik edit okay and click on submit you can see that now it's removed let me go and you can see select start from users if i refresh it now it's not going to run okay now if i go and edit again for example and just back it and like update and click on submit now users query will run okay but when you refresh it not going to run because it's already cached into the database same thing if i go and create a new user over here if i click fact filler and yeah keep open this debug bar so yeah if i click on submit you can see that new record is created at the end like what we have okay and you can see that users star from users that query running on user index.php file so let me go and double check you can see over here okay and if i refresh it again that means that query no longer to run because that results is stored into the database okay so i hope guys you understand how easily we can catch the query result and we can speed up our page this is the manual process all the things we are doing right now but in the next videos i am going to show you the model catching and you don't have to do manually catch and catch clear and all the things it's automatically does on delete users update users and create users so at the end don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more videos and keep watching guys see you in the next video guys